What's up guys, Tim Halstead here. Guess what, we're going to Mike Weeks. You can see now the sun's coming up. It's early, it's probably about eight o'clock. That's probably not early for most of you people, but we're on the road. It's about an hour and 20, 30 minutes to Mike's house. Can't wait to get there, get working. <laughs> All right, Richard, we got you on camera here. So Richard's setting up the mill right now, making sure that the axle's straight in relation to the cutting tip, and you can see we'll come in close. Don't ask me what that is, because it's way above my pay grade. But he's one of the master fabricators here at Mike Weeks's Hot Rod Shop. There's his Fairlane there. We'll do another video on that stuff. There's his Mustang, runs what, 925s, FE power. There's his Cleveland powered Maverick. And there's his, what is that Mike, 36? 36 Ford Coupe that's gonna get a Cleveland in it. We'll talk about that later. So here he is, he's checking it out to make sure that's indicating the hole. Probably can't see that. We'll bring it in. So the key to this, I would say, I surmise from talking with Richard, that everything has to be perpendicular, straight with the machine head and the axle. So he takes his time. This thing's going to be perfect. Perfect. Nobody's perfect. You are, Richard. So go on smoke. <laughs> so if you just saw the studs on the other axle that had a bend to them. They're getting stressed for sure. And that's what Richard noticed here. That's why he asked me, he said, did you notice that the studs were bent at all when you took them out? I said, no, I never noticed that. And he said, well, he was trying to set up this with a dial indicator to sh make sure that it had zero run out. That's when he started saying that the holes here are a little bit tweaked. So I'm glad that I went to this extra step because that's definitely a failure just waiting to happen. Goes there like butter. There you go. So that was machined. Those threads were machined out with that burr. Here's a little aside. Here's another job that Mike's working on. He's going to put a door in this enclosed trailer. That's pretty cool. So now we're now we are doing a little bit of drilling to make sure we got the right size. It hardly takes out any metal. That's how you adjust it. It's an old mill. I don't know much about mills, but when I see this stuff, it makes me want to get one. So now he's tapping with a 5 8 tap after he's machined the half inch hole. Add a little lube there, taps in there, and it's a funny thing, I really never knew what that little hole was in the back of the tap, but it's a centering. Aid. So you see the process. All right, guys, so here's the job all well done. Look at that thing. That's perfect. A lot better than I could do with a drill press and straight. That's the importance of doing it the right way the first time. Like a dream. Like a dream. <laughs> so here's the stud here, the three inch stud, and then this is the sleeve that goes over it. And you have to have a special tool to tighten that up, and it comes with it right here. But it threads right onto here. 
And then that thread, this insert, screws over this stud. And then we'll fit inside the center of the wheel to take up that extra space. So it's pretty unique. That way you don't have to buy the wheels that are 5 8 So you can kind of convert them. All right, guys. So we're getting ready to pull the studs out of the old axle. They're half inch. Now here's the stuff that Richard found out. He said, do you think they're bent at all? I said, no, I don't think so. Check this out. We're going to get in there and you can see the gap right there. If you can see that gap right there for that straight edge. There's probably about two or three millimeters. So they are bent. And you're probably getting, I'm just probably getting close to having these things shear off, add more power to this. So that's something to pay attention to guys. It's a big safety issue. So check this out. Here's the rotor, the Wilwood rotor. And you can see, I'll zoom in. Look at it. So those things have been flexing in there. Check your wheel studs, guys. So the rotors are still, you want to be straight, but they're not as critical as the studs. Goes to that like butter. A little counter sinking here. Nice. Here's his wife's anniversary present for like 43 years, 36 Ford. He's going to be getting that going. He sent me a picture, maybe I'll put it on a video. Here, he had a Cleveland in it, it fits like a glove. So you can see he's already modifying this. There's Richard, 83 year old, still going strong, wrenching, fabricating.